Today I'm going to show you how I mix my hydroponic fertilizer. So I use a three-part hydroponic fertilizer. I've Sometimes I use a one-part. Um, the f different fertilizers that you'll see me use throughout the seasons are going to be either Maxi Grow. Um, I use Maxi Grow, um, and then there's also Maxi Bloom. This is really nice if you're getting started out on, on hydroponic fertilizer because, or on hydroponic gardening, because you just have to measure it or weigh it. You mix it in your water, and you're good to go. Um, but once you get to the point where you graduate a little bit, uh, I started using what's called Master Blend. It's a three-part fertilizer. Uh, it's 41838. Uh, it also comes with some calcium nitrate and then Epsom salt. Now the key to those three fertilizers is you cannot just measure them all together and mix them all together because you're going to get um, a nutrient lock. You're not going to be able to dissolve as, as much of the nutrients in your solvent solution. So you have to mix everything separately. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how I mix mine. I mix mine on a really concentrated uh, volume just because I don't want to have to just sit there and mix seven gallons. Um, and I have a 32 gallon water reservoir outside and I would really like to be able to just mix three separate one gallons. Last year when I was mixing my fertilizers, what I was noticing is I was mixing them and it looked like everything was fully dissolved. But when I would pour everything together, I was still uh, getting some crystal or some crystallites and I wasn't getting every full, everything fully dissolved. So. This year what I did was I decided to switch to a little bit more of a hands-off measuring technique. So I use a magnetic stirrer. So anybody who uh, took chemistry class in high school or uh, college, everybody used some sort of magnetic uh, stir plate. You can buy the stir plates online. I'll, I'll leave a link to the, in the description below. Um, but on mine, um, I just made mine. I 3D, 3D printed mine. I just didn't feel like buying it because I had the magnets laying around, the motor laying around, and I had a 3D printer and I had a, a, a PWM, uh, which allows you to speed up or slow down your motor. But anyways, so what we're going to do here is I have three bot or I have three jars or three one quart jars. I already pre-measured the solutions out. Now, if you decide that you want to use the Master Blend, there's a really great app that I'll leave the name in the description. You can download it and you just put in the amount of water that you wanna have and then it'll tell you how much solution or how much uh, nutrient you need to measure out. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, first I'm gonna mix the master blend, which I had uh, already measured here. So I'll just take one of my quart jars, put the quart jar on here and I'm gonna take my magnetic stir plate or stir stick and just pop it right on in there and I'm gonna get it started. And you'll have a close up here where you're gonna to start to see after just a little bit, you're gonna to to see the vortex that's in there. And mind you, this is one quart of water, but this is enough solution to, la or to make seven gallons of nutrient. So you, if you're not stirring it enough, you definitely will not get everything dissolved. So I'm just gonna to start to slowly pour it in here. And what's really nice about this is once this is all in, I can start to measure out my other solution or I can start cleaning up or I can do really do whatever I, want. I can even walk away go to the bathroom and come on back after about 10 minutes and my solution will be fully dissolved now you'll start seeing in here that you can start you can see some of the salts that are still in here but the it'll start to dissipate after a little while and I do use lukewarm water because the warmer the water the easier it is to dissolve all right so now you can see that this is quite clear it looks just like yellow gatorade um it's pretty much because it is kind of yellow gatorade it just has a bunch of nutrients in it uh, and this is almost fully dissolved so once i start to see it cl go clear like this i'm gonna let this stir for about another minute or two just so i know it fully dissolves all right now it's been about a minute or two and i'm ready to go ahead and turn this off so i'm gonna turn the speed down and then i do have a magnet um, a magnetic stick downstairs, but I'm just gonna pop this knife in here and hopefully just to get it out here Should go easier. Now the one thing I will tell you is I've forgotten this every single time Take your magnetic stir sticks out. This is what the stir sticks look like Take the magnetic stir sticks out before you pour your solution in because then you got to sift all through your your big reservoir of water So there's my master blend. It's the 41834 now. I'm going to make my calcium same exact thing I turn it on, get a nice vortex going. 
And while this is going, you can use any kind of kitchen scale that will measure grams because that's how I measure all my, my solutions. Or you can use a small little travel scale like this. Uh, that you could tell that this is very, very well used. Either way, as long as it measures grams, you're fine. So I've got this up to speed. Mix this in there. And doing the calcium nitrate will be the it will take the biggest hit in terms of speed just because it has a lot of uh, a lot of mass, a lot of volume. You can see the water's nice and cloudy. I really love having this magnetic stir table. Alright, so now it's clear. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this speed off. The water starts to slow down a little bit. Go ahead and get the mag magnetic stir out. Put this back over here. And then lastly, we're going to do the Epsom salt. Now, the reason I like to use the Master Blend over the Maxi Grow is that when I use the Maxi Grow, I seem to have more blossom end rot than I did when I used my Master Blend. I didn't grow any tomatoes last year, but I did grow peppers and I didn't have any problems with it. And this way I can, I know that if I'm having some blossom end rot issues, I can manually adjust how much calcium I have in my solution versus just going off of just a standard Maxi Grow. But I've had great success with the Maxi Grow. I've used it when I was brand new to hydroponics. And I think if I had to measure everything out independently when I was just getting into hydroponics, I probably would have stopped. At the, container with the Epsom salt that it is once again clear and how you add this to your reservoir doesn't really matter it just you have to add it separately uh, to your reservoir so I'm going to turn the speed down grab my stir stick out of there just like that boom and we are good to go and now we've made enough solution so in a in three quart jars we've made enough solution for seven gallons. Uh, this will be really nice too in case you have uh, a far trip to wherever you're going with the hydroponics. It's nice to just travel with a smaller amount of solution. Um, this is how I'm going to do my hydroponics this year. I've already been doing it like this in our hydroponic system that's in the basement. Like I said, it's worked out very well. And if you like it, just give us a thumbs up, leave some comments below. I'm still relatively new with hydroponics, just like many of you who are probably watching this video, so we'll learn together. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as, as need be. But other than that, have a great day.